Welcome to the Royals Greatest Living Artist Studio. Studio, baby. All right, let's get let's get let's get some painting going, cause then I'm crying that I didn't paint enough, or that you know, then people are crying that the commissions aren't finished, that, that on and on and on and on. Everybody's crying. Everybody's crying, crying. All right, let's do this. What's happening? So let's start a little painting right here. Let's see where we go with this. Boom. Just like that. Man, I'm not gonna lie, it's a little chilly today. Let's wave at people. Consider yourself waved, people. Thank you so much, Darcy. I am. I'm. 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 Uh, I'm in Arizona, so it's not it, 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 that. Um, it's not cold here. The, 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 the people that are having a hard time right now are in Texas, I believe. Pretty hard for the Texans.
Super simple brushwork, yet super effective. Look at that. They're going to be yellow flowers because I feel like it. feel like it being yellow. Man, I feel like Bob Ross. Painting, recording, happy little trees, happy little flowers. I found out that Bob Ross didn't really paint as much as people think he did. He painted uh, 360 something times on TV. And the rest of them were uh, people he invited over. I'm like, that's weak. I thought he painted more than that. I've been lied to by my own imagination. Look at those flowers. Amber says, I have been uh, feeling orange lately. I wonder what that means. Who knows? Who knows what that orange means? This is a super sweet painting. It's so sweet. Look at that. Some people say you can even count the brush strokes on my paintings. I'm like, you guys have some good math. People be showing off that arithmetic. Look at that. Boom. Orange. <laughs> What's happening? Kin Kindle Kindle Ray Kin Kin Marcel. No, nothing. <laughs> I get all I get all kinds of thoughts in my mind all the time. What's up, our gold? What's happening? Lil Lil Rash T, what's up? Mary M. What's happening, Mary M? And then we have a uh, We have Daddy Art. Dude, that's a that's a sweet name. Daddy Art. That's a kick ass I can give you props for that. That's a kick ass name. Hey, what's your artistic name? Daddy Art. <laughs> I love that. I really love that. That's awesome. All right, let's get into this painting. Look at that.
guys. This is super chill. I need to reach out to my Texan my Texan artist friends. I know there's there's a few here on, on Instagram. See how they're doing. Look at that. That's how it's done. Soon. Look at this. Boom. Man, I'm I'm way too sexy, way too early. Look at this. This is like fantastique. It's got all kinds of genesis, sais quoi, all kinds of mojo. All the genesis sais quoi is right here. You ever seen something so beautiful like this? Of course not. You can't find this anywhere. This is uh This is molto originale. Oops. Completely bit into that one. But it's okay because I am molto originale. Lila says, very nice. Thank you so much. Appreciate that. Molto apreciado. And yesterday I painted in an angel. It's probably the nicest angel I've painted in a long time. Look at that. This is how it's done. Let me sign this. Let me sign this, Pops. Jose Trujillo, world's greatest living artist, and the crowd goes wild. Ah, ah, the crowd goes wild. <laughs> What's up, Nisha? What's up, Nisha? I promise you, okay? With, with, uh, with all my heart, with all my heart, I will do a shark one of these days. I'm going to do a, a, um, how does that song go? Man, how does that shark song go? Baby shark. Baby shark. Yeah, baby shark. Da, 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 baby shark. I'm going to do a baby shark. That's all I need. Yeah. <laughs> That's all we need to know about baby shark. Baby shark. Da, 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 baby shark. All right, let's do another one. Oh, baby, I'm ready to do another one. Nice work, nice work. It is amazing. Here, let's do another one. I'm going to do another painting because I feel like doing another painting. Most people don't even know, but I feel it. I feel it in my heart when it's time to do another painting. I can feel it. 
Okay, this time I'm going to do some other flowers, but this is going to be slightly different. Okay, because we're going to have the flowers come from down here. And, and just leave it to the imagination, baby. If you don't have imagination, I can, I can lend you some imagination. Look at this. Imaginazione. Boom, boom, boom. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a nasty girl, fantastic. Look at this. It's perfecto mundo. All kinds of imaginazione. You see that? Let's see, warm color Texas here is freezing blue. Oh my God, yeah. Please, please, please take care, take care of yourself. I, 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 I could not imagine what people are experiencing right now over there. I don't like the cold. I don't, I don't think anybody really likes that. Some people do, but not, nothing like that, of course. Nobody likes that. And so, yeah, take care of yourself out there. I was mentioning yesterday, I have some family in Texas. I have, I have some friends in Austin also. And uh, yeah, they, 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 they've been telling me that it's not fun. Nowhere in Texas is fun right now. And so, mi corazone, mi corazone, you guys. Mi corazone goes to you guys right now because, man, I can't, I can't even imagine what, that, what that's like right now. Uh, do you have a favorite brand of acrylic paint? I do, I do. Uh, it is, here, let me have it, let me see. It's golden. I had to turn around and look at it because I don't, I don't, I don't usually use acrylic paint. But it is golden. My, my, my favorite brand is golden. It just is, it's the high, high pigmentation is really what matters in paint. And, and golden is, is, golden should pay me something to be saying stuff like this. Damn. Uh, I love to hear how do you how do you do this style in anything that we can paint well i'd love to learn sorry i'm horrible i'm a horrible reader i'd love to learn how to do this style in anything that we can paint nice nice you're welcome hey i'm here for the i'm, I'm here for the love i'm here to share all kinds of love yeah let's paint another one so so this is going to be slightly more on the red on the red end okay so it's orangey but it's going to be more like pushing towards the red. Look at that. Baby shark, do, 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 baby shark. I'm gonna do a baby shark right now. I'm gonna go online and I'm gonna see a shark right now and I'm gonna paint the shark. Just cause Nisha's like, where's my shark? Where is my shark? So, so what, what, what is it that you like about sharks, Nisha? What, what's, what's the deal with the sharks? Because I, I find them super, super scary. I also, I, I, I learned that, that shark attacks are not really a thing. Um, it's, it's like, a, it, it's a movie thing, but it's not a real life thing. Uh, I think that seals are the ones who who end up attacking people more than sharks but but i mean who's gonna who's gonna make a, a, a you know a movie about a seal like ooh, ooh. like who's gonna make a movie about a seal yeah <laughs> last time i think the sharks just think people are food they're food huh yeah the... of course when people see a shark coming at them in the water they start freaking out but that makes you look more like food <laughs> that makes you look They nudge you first, right? Yeah, and if they can't, if none of their other senses are telling them what you are, then they'll bite. Damn. See, is this food? And they don't even eat you, right? They just bite to see what it is, right? That's what I. That's what I read. Yeah. Unless they're hungry, then you're gone. Yeah. If they're hungry, they're not gonna. Yeah, they're not gonna be like, mmm, this is not bueno. They're gonna be like, mmm, qué rico, pozole and stuff. <laughs> Let's see. Let's see. I actually got to paint one for my client, and I'm having such a hard time to paint them. 
and color abstract style i normally do colorful animals in any random colors gotcha shark but shark is so difficult i think i think i know what you mean they are they are a little bit they can be a little bit difficult yeah they can be um the way that i approach them is the, the reason why they're difficult is because they're they're normally anything that is difficult to paint it's difficult to draw it's got more it's it's a bit more intricate and i i think what makes sharks a little bit more difficult than other animals or other sea creatures uh is that if you lose the perspective a little bit it, it looks it just looks like a big fish and it is a big fish but not a big fish and, and uh, they have a certain little perspective that you can't you can't really lose i know what you mean it's it's the perspective is on where most people get it wrong i think it's on the belly the perspective is on the belly there's a there's a line between be, before it goes before it makes that little fulcrum point between the tail and the head that belly part if you get that wrong it just looks it just looks like that <laughs> like one of those one of those one of those one of those uh what do they call them all oh, those christian symbols it ends up looking like super simple so i'm just telling you guys pay attention to that <laughs> pay attention to that there you go look at that boom now that i painted a christian symbol here vaya con dios and stuff boom boom Baby shark, do, 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 do. baby shark, did I got that song stuck in my head again? I love that. I'm gonna sing that for a while. Look at those flowers. Let's see. Tastes like chorizo. <laughs> That's probably what they're thinking, huh? <laughs> I, I, I probably taste like chorizo, spicy chorizo. Uh, I got the drawing in all right, getting all the shape color right and all, but my brush strokes not going in the right direction. Gotcha, okay. Yes, belly's hard, highlight, gotcha. It's driving me crazy. I'm here, I'm here, Nisha. It won't drive you crazy anymore. You're gonna see me do a shark right now. Baby shark, baby shark. Du, 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 du. Carmen says, muy, muy lindo. Ese color es precioso. Muchas gracias, Carmen. Se lo agradezco mucho. What's up, then? Some poppies. I think they could be poppies. I don't see why not. I'm just, I'm just painting some random stuff. Most of my time, most of the time, I'm, I just paint random-ish. I don't have a... I'm a, uh, I try to be purposeless. I'm, I'm happier when I'm purposeless. Because then I get everything done. When I'm not trying to get anything done, it seems like I get everything done. Boom, that's super esoteric. And it's true. Look at that, boom. I'm like, I'm not gonna get anything done. Then I get everything done. Why? Because I was purposeless. Purposeless is the way to go. Look at that. That's a nice gray. I'm mixing this gray with that orange, a little bit of that orange and blue. And of course white, lots of white. This is a kick-ass gray. Can't get it in the stores. Can only get it here with Jose Trujillo, world's greatest living artist. Ah, the crowd goes wild. I can't wait till the crowd starts going wild. I don't know when. I'm trying to become TikTok famous. I don't know. If, I don't know if that will will ever happen. But uh, I need some fame in my life, man. I need some hardcore fame. And if people look at me and be like, "Oh my God, Jose Trujillo, please sign, sign this," you know, just signing all kinds of stuff all the time. Watch, and then I'm going to hate it. If it does happen, then I'm going to hate it. Because I think all famous people hate being like, you know, 
sign this, take a picture with me, that type of deal. But I'm gonna love it for a couple of months and then I'm gonna hate it. Just like everything in life, you know? You're like, you're like super into it for a couple of months and then you're like, I'm tired of this. And then if it matters, you have to learn how to like, you know, love it all over again. If it, do if it doesn't matter, you just walk away. You're like, you're like, you're like deuces. Look at that, boom. You have to transcend it if it matters. And stiff. Look at that. What's happening, Vivek? I am the world's greatest living artist. You are lucky that I'm doing a shark. But you're... But but the, it's not so much that you're lucky. You're my homie, so... You know? That's just how we roll here. <laughs> it's stuff to meet you. I'll be like, oh, hi, everybody. Oh, hi. And stuff. You're going to be famous AF. I don't know about this whole fame thing, guys. But I, what I do know is that I love, I love creating artwork. And so whatever that means at the end of the, at the end of the, the road. Look at this. Boom. Somebody told me that that, that the way that I paint the, uh, the the background last is like is like old. And I'm like, old like what? They're like, yeah, that's how the masters used to do it. I'm like, did I know that? I thought you were saying old like 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 not bueno, you know, like oh you shouldn't be doing that anymore. I'm like, duh, what do you think I do it? Why do you think I do it? Why do you think I do it this way? Because I'm a master. I'm a master. Master of puppets. Master of puppets. And stuff. Dude, this, this, this flowers are coming out mucho bueno. Super sexy. Look at that. Too sexy for my brush. Too sexy. Look at that. There it is. Would be nice to see you do a rose. All right, all right. I, I see where this is going. I see where this is going. I like it. I like it. I'm gonna start taking. I'm gonna start taking some of this. Uh, what do they call them? Um, I forgot what it's called. You guys know what it's called. Suggestions, Suggestions or when 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 when? Yeah, I, no, it's more. It's more than. It's not a suggestion. It's more like like uh, like if you're a musician and someone's like, "Hey, come on, dude, play Pink Floyd." And you're like. Psh. Yeah, but it's it's not a suggestion. It's like I forgot what the word is called. Request. Request. There you go. Thank you. Dude, I'm so glad Marcel's here because <laughs> otherwise I'd be super lost. Thank you, Marcel. I'm gonna start taking requests. I see where this is going. I like it. I like it. Look at that. You see what this you see what this is? This is pure This is pure Jose Trujillo magic. Oh thank you. Working artist is like request. Boom. I'll start taking all kinds of requests. People are gonna be like, paint Mickey Mouse! No, I can't paint Mickey Mouse because then 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 make Mickey's Mickey's like Yeah, you don't play with Mickey. Mickey will chase you. Chase you down. You paint Mickey Mouse. I remember I, I made a drawing of Mickey Mouse once. Not not like a professional thing like this, but like I was playing around. 
And then I had a friend being like, dude, you know Mickey Mouse like chases you for this stuff? Like if you were to pop like if you were to publish this stuff. I was like, really? He told me all kinds of horror stories. I was like, dude, you know what I did with the drawing? I ate it. I took pieces and I put it in my mouth and ate it. Chewed it up. I was like, F you, Mickey. You're not gonna get me for this. Try to get me now, Mickey. That's what I did. No joke. I did that. Let's see, baby shark, baby shark, do, 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 baby shark. Oh man, let's see, Google images of, of a shark. There's all kinds of images of sharks here, but I think I think this is a good one. Dude, Whale I'm gonna go with this one. Really cool. Which ones? Whale sharks. Whale sharks. They're like they're really big and they have like a bunch of like spots on them. And they look scary too. Well, not as scary, right? But the size. The size. The size. Yeah, the size is intimidating. Mickey's the devil's work. <laughs> you know. <laughs> hey. Hey, I, I'm not gonna take it. I'm not gonna take it all the way there, Bivik, because I do like going to Disneyland. I miss Disneyland. I just don't mess with Mickey. Mickey's like a mafia boss, you know. <laughs> it's, oh, I have to, I have to sign this. Mickey's, Mickey's like a mafia boss. You just don't mess with him. You don't cross. You don't cross his path. But. uh yeah, Mickey for sure, for sure, has a questionable past. <laughs> I don't know, Mickey has a questionable past, huh? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Here, let me get another, another canvas so that we can, we can do this stuff. Okay, we're gonna do it in a in a nine by twelve too, because I don't feel like painting larger right now. Sorry, sorry, not sorry, and stuff. Sent you with with a shark image. Nice, I like that. I found one already though, but thank you for that one. We won't go there for the sake of our sanity. Yeah, for the sake of our sanity, we're not gonna get into. Mickey's questionable pass. <laughs> we'll leave it at that. All right, here we go. Here we go. But uh, you know, I, I heard that people are going to the to the Disney park, even though the rides are not there. People are still like, yeah, let's go Disney park and stuff, and. I don't know, guys. I think that that is that is a little a little bonkers to me, but you know, whatever. I guess some people really miss miss going to the park. All right, so I'm doing baby shark, okay? Baby shark, da -da 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 -da, baby shark. Now, when you're doing a painting, like a like a painting like this, I think it's important to know if you're using an image like what I'm using right here. I'm using I'm using one of those Google images. I think it's important to know um, what works well in a painting and what doesn't. Some stuff just doesn't work well in a painting. You know, some stuff just doesn't. No matter how, no matter how you put it, Nisha, who is it? Is it Nisha? Let me see. Who who requested this shark? Nisha. Yeah, Nisha. No matter how you put it, sometimes you just have to, you know, you have to like really pay attention to: is this thing gonna be a good painting, or is it just a good photograph? Because a good photograph doesn't necessarily translate into a good painting, and vice versa. This is something that I try to pay attention to also when I'm doing um, when I'm doing commissions. Because people send me their photos and they're like, hey, can you do a painting of this? I'm like, I could, but it's going to look like shit. <laughs> no, I don't tell them that. But I do think that, by the way. And so I kind of like walk them through and be like, okay, let's let's choose a different photo here. Let's let's 
because we have to we have to pay attention to those things, you know. Otherwise, it's not gonna look mucho bueno. You see the you see the baby shark already, Nisha. Boom. Baby shark, do, 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 baby shark. Boom. Man, I gotta start taking requests now. I want to become insta famous. Dude, I don't think I, I I think I'm too late to the insta game to become insta famous. I think that train already left me. But I believe I have a shot on TikTok. I was telling my wife, I was like, babe, I'm gonna take you to the moon on TikTok. We're gonna go to the moon, baby. I think I have a shot. <laughs> I really do. I'm not even joking with that. I think I have a shot. Baby shark, da, 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 baby shark. I like that. Not missing one second of it. Please don't. This is a. Uh, this is a. Uh, this is a little class right here for painting a, a shark in the Jose Trujillo amazing mundo, super, super handsome, and sexy style. Okay, and then right here, this suggests that the fin is right here. Ooh la la, baby. The fin is right here. Boom. And we're gonna do this. Baby shark. Baby shark. I'm loving this already. This is amazing stuff. Any advice uh, how to know if the pick will be a good painting? It's a multitude of things, really. Um, a painting is not a photograph. A photograph is not a painting. Uh, when it comes to portraits, when it comes to portraits, okay, so I'm going to put it this way. A professional, very professional photographer right they're like ooh, pinky up high-end photographer that makes a good painting most photographers don't really know how to take photos or they're being too creative and just messing up the whole composition it's really the composition and it's the lighting that messes the whole thing up and so if you're going to do like a like oh my god yeah i want to do that uh make sure you get it from a from a from a professional photographer. So this image is from a professional photographer online on Google. Um, I don't have to care much about it because I'm not really copying it. You'll see right now. It turns into a whole other thing once you start painting it. But um, yeah, that's pretty much how this is done. You see? And if you want to, I don't want to here because it, it, it looks good like that. You can put the fin, but I don't want to put the fin because I think it's gonna be it's gonna look too starry. I'd rather have this 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 composition, natural composition that the shark already has, which is a pyramid, uh, than putting more more fins and whatnot. And so the tail the tail is not even on the photograph, and that was a very smart move of the photographer to keep this photograph for that. Uh, the marine photographer because the tail is not even there and it would have looked too cartoonish if there's another a tail back there it'll be uh, it would have looked like a like a like an illustration so let's start let's start painting this you guys you guys don't even know who you're like hanging out with i know my ish been doing this for a long time a very long long time check it out so we're gonna start doing that color Right, that is very very cool. You don't even know how I mix this color, huh? This is a mixture of gray, purple, and green. Gray, purple, and green to make this this super ultra sharp, super ultra sharp color right here. That's why I keep telling people, man. Like people keep joining my my thing and then leaving it, and then some people join it and other people leave it. My, my subscription, I, I teach you how to mix these colors, but most, most people don't understand that. Mixing color is extremely freaking important. It's not just painting, it's the color. The color, the color really shows you everything. 
going on a rant here. Look at that. People are like, oh, I'm good, Jose. You taught me everything I need to know. They were there for like two months, and I'm like, really, dude? All right. I'm not going to miss you. I'm not going to miss the 20 bucks. What I, I'm thinking is... You're not ready. Two, two months of, of looking at my, my work and looking how I paint does not make you ready. I promise you that. Does not make you ready. But, uh, yeah, that's a rant, man. I'm going on a rant here. I'm going on a tangent. I'm like, Arr! it's stiff. Look at that. You see that? That's how this is done. Boom. Baby shark, do, 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 baby shark. Super simple. See, I approach, I approach everything the same way because you, you, you don't need to change it. Once you have a basic understanding of the colors, you have a basic, basic understanding of brush stroke, basic understanding of, and a basic understanding doesn't mean two months. Again, okay, I'm going back to my rant. People are like, oh, Jose, I was there for two months. I think I've learned everything I needed to learn. I'm like, dude, oh my God. All right, yeah, cool. Keep that philosophy. It took me 20 plus years to figure this shit out. And, and, and people are trying to nail it in two months. I'm like, jeez, Louise. What was I saying before I went on the rant? I was saying something meaningful. Forgot. Can't think of rants because all of a sudden I start going off. Like fireworks. Baby, you're a firework. Look at that. Look at that. You paying attention, Nisha? Because this is how baby shark did 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 baby shark is done. Just saying. All right, here we go, here we go. Check this out. Boom. I need some, I need some, I need some, uh, some blue. I need blue in my life. Viridian, blue, look at this. You'll see why right now. I need it to be stronger there. Strong with the force, okay? There we go. And I get into this stuff. I'm good at this stuff. I'm telling you guys. No cap. that make it look so simple it's not it really isn't but i do make it look simple and, and i think that that's why a, a, a lot of people out there are like oh i can paint i can paint just like jose well, well no it's not that simple it takes a little bit of love it takes a little bit of love that's all look boom a little bit of love we're missing the most important ingredient love Baby shark, did it, did it, did it, baby shark. It's a baby shark right there. Have you ditched the reference? Always, always ditch the reference. You always have to ditch the reference. If you get stuck on the reference, you won't, you won't create, you won't, it won't be creative. The reference, the reference is, is used only for, for, to guide you. But you can't you can't make a painting with a reference. It's only to guide you. You know that Bivik. You know I keep teaching this stuff. The reference is only to guide. 
and then you have to put it away and then boom baby you see there's there's certain little things that are happening that if you look at the, 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 the reference and you're trying to paint the reference, you, you can't with this style. You would have to do some uh, uh, realism or photorealism or something else. And so, so the way to do it is to get out of, of the idea of painting the shark, the way it's, it's portrayed in the, in the reference. What we're doing is we're getting, um, we're using the light, we're using the shape and we're incorporating our own things in there. It's the only way to do it. Otherwise, it's not going to come out. It's going to look it's going to look like like shit. <laughs> I know I was just checking. I love that. <laughs> That's a good one. I was asking I was asking for a friend. That's what, that's what you're supposed to say to me. Like, I was asking for a friend. There it is. And so Look at the look at the places where it's very, very strong, and get in there, and, and, and you know. Show that little shark who's boss. He's not gonna bite. Baby shark, did 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 baby shark. Look at that. I used to hate sharks, but this one I love. Thanks so much, Layla. What's up, Binging Alicia? Farewell to you, my fair Spanish lady. Fair Spanish lady. All right, all right. Here we go. There we go. Danny, 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 Danny. And now what are we gonna do? What, what, what blue is in the background? What's going on? What's, where's the movement, right? So, so that, that's gonna take some, some, some artistic, you know, discernment. I'm gonna, get, I'm gonna get super fancy on you guys. We're gonna call it artistic discernment. Is that even a word? Yeah, it's a word for me too. Look at that. Just to get fancy. Fancy pantsy. And when why is this painted more more a little bit slower and more calmly because it's a specific it's a specific image right uh i'm not gonna go super bananas on this because because if i miss the proportion it's not gonna look like a shark and i'm going to do a, a piece of shit job right and so so uh depending on the job you move according if it's a flower where there's many flowers that look that look like that can look like a flower if it's a landscape there's many landscapes that can look like a landscape but that, but but sharks the, the shark a shark has a very specific look and this is where knowing how to draw and know how to paint comes into into place
You see? Let's put some teeth right there. Look at that. Mmm! Little bastards even got some teeth there. Boom. Arrgh, and stuff. All right. That's pretty much that. Now, what are we going to do? We're going to get in there. And we're going to start savoring the moment. Molto buono. But really get some green in there, and you know? Mmm. Baby shark, da, 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 baby shark. That's how it's done, son. Look at that. And, and the whole idea is that it still has to be expressionist, right? So how do you keep something like this expressionist? Well, it's a game of... It's a game of, of making abstraction and realism, right? That's what expressionist figurative work is. It's a game. You're playing with abstraction and realism. Very, very, very subtle on both ends. It's not quite abstract. It's not quite realist. And so everything becomes very expressive. Dinner, 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 dinner. Yeah. Man, I'm good. It's even ridiculous how good I am. I have to put red because, you know, they love red. They love my last name, Jose Trujillo. Jimmy, are you quoting like movie stuff? Are you quoting like the, the <laughs> is this, is this like uh, Jordan Belfort's, uh, what's it? Wolf of Wall Street? Or is it, or is it like, like some other shark movie? Uh, maybe you can do a course with how to paint a particular animal, like paint a shark course, paint a bunny course. I've been doing it. I've been doing it. I just, I just haven't gotten to the shark until now. Look at that. There it is. So, because I'm cool like that, I'm going to auction it. <laughs> yeah, baby, because I'm cool like that. I'm going to... I'm going to... Oh, it's, it's Jaws? Okay, gotcha. <laughs> I'm going to auction it on... Uh, I'm going to auction it on eBay, baby. Cool was that? Was that cool or what? Did I do something there? What's happening? What's happening, Jay? What's happening, Kendall? Kendall Ray. What's happening? It's Steph. Yeah, this is this is very. And the outlines are very, very strong. If you can see, the outlines are very strong. I, I, I want to make the out, outlines a lot stronger on this one too, because because it's marine, right? It's marine, and it can it could easily get lost uh, with all the blue and all that stuff. But there it is. And stuff. All right, I'm gonna auction this pot. That's what I'm gonna do. 
Anybody want it? Go to eBay. Click on that link. Click, click, click. Click, 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 click. Click, 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 click. Click on that link. Gotta go click that link. Best day ever. I love that. It reminds me of SpongeBob. It's the best day ever. Best day ever. All right, I'm gonna do another one just because I feel like it. I'm I'm generous like that. My generosity goes beyond limits. Now I'm gonna do a landscape. Stay there. It's Steph. Here, let's uh. It's the best day ever. It's very cool. Well, I'm, I'm very, I'm very happy. I'm very glad I brought some happiness to your day, Nisha. I feel, uh, I feel honored to be able to bring some happiness. All right, let's do this. See, whether I'm painting a shark or I'm painting a portrait or I'm painting seal life, it doesn't matter. It's all the same thing, my friends. The whole thing is the same thing. It's about having some basic idea on drawing, on composition, on color theory, and my, my personal favorite is visual weight. Those of you asking like, oh, why is he doing those lines, blah, blah. Some people may think I'm bullshitting, but this, this stuff is, this stuff is real. This, this is about, this is about perspective, composition, and visual weight. It's rarely ever talked, especially on YouTube. If you go and like try to find YouTube videos and whatnot, they, they're not explaining to you any of this stuff. This stuff, I, I learned it from, from shadowing very, very kick-ass artists and uh, learning from them. Very kick-ass artists that I've been, uh, have, I have had the privilege to be around since I was a, a, a kid, a, a young artist. How to simplify something, right? Anyone can make something very difficult and very, very complicated, but simplifying something, that, 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 that shit takes skill. Simplifying something is very difficult to do. Anyone can complicate it. This is uh, something that Leonardo da Vinci said also. Simplification is the highest form of sophistication. When you simplify something, this is why uh, minimalism is, is highly regarded in architecture, in art, in, in uh, poetry, filmmaking. Minimalism is very, very... Uh, it's just done well, right? Not minimalism, like I'm gonna do a line. No, done well, done well is, uh, is highly regarded because it's very sophisticated. Hence my, hence my quote, stay well and sophisticated, baby. I gotta make a shirt that says stay well and sophisticated. See that? Oh. Boom. Well said. I love that. I'm happy. I'm cooking and dancing and watching Insta. Love that. Cooking and dancing. Did I gotta cook something. I love cooking. Not even joking. I love cooking. I'm just horrible at it, but I love cooking. The only reason I don't cook at home, well, my, my wife is not a very good cook. And she can tell you that. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not trying to say anything. It's not bad. She just doesn't, she's, that's not her thing. But uh, it was my thing. But um, the only reason I don't cook at home is because I, I, just, I don't have time. You know, I try to cook on the weekends, maybe once. On Sunday, I try to cook something. Because I like cooking. I really like it, but I just don't have time to do it. I'm a busy man. Look at that. I'm a very busy man. I'm busy. 
who knows in the future, you know, when I'm not so busy, I'm going to I'm going to be uh I don't know, cooking something, drinking a little a little little glass of wine. I don't even drink wine and one of the reasons I don't drink is not cuz I don't like it or I'm against it. I love that stuff. Uh but I hardly ever do it because I don't I don't um I don't like feeling a little buzzed or anything like that and knowing that I that I'm busy, that I have to get stuff done. And so so that's why I don't I don't uh, hardly ever drink. Have, hardly ever have any anything to drink for that same reason. I feel like uh, I can't answer an email when I'm buzzed, you know, or I had a couple of glasses of wine. I just I, it doesn't feel right. I don't feel I don't feel I don't feel strong, you know. I don't feel uh, it just doesn't feel right to be answering an email. Even if I had one glass of wine, it doesn't even feel right to do that for me, right? For me, not not for everyone. I know some people function very well with one glass because uh, I don't drink often. One glass will start will make me start like smiling a little bit more, laughing a little bit more, and so, so I just stay away from the whole thing. And, and like every other month or every every quarter, I'll have a couple of glasses of wine, and and at most, and I know that I'm not going to work the next day. Type of deal. But, uh, but at some point, man, I know at some point I'm going to be like cooking and opening up that beer. Man, I miss them Modelos. Modelo Especial. Let's see. Uh, I love to paint more and cook less. Uh, got to do for uh, my third year old. Totally, totally understand. Man, moms, you, 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 you guys own heaven. You guys are like the real deal. Love that. Que bonito, muchas gracias, muchas gracias. So it doesn't matter what, what you're painting, whether again, whether it's a shark or it's a, a landscape. The more freedom I have doesn't mean that I do a, a, a crappier job. So some people think, oh, it's, you know, you have so much freedom in your landscapes. Yeah, but but it only means that i'm not constantly looking at a reference it doesn't mean that i'm that i'm that i'm fucking with it you know i still need to i still need to pay attention to it and do my best and so some people out there have this idea that if you don't look at the reference or if you uh, have if you're painting abstract or expressionist work you're not paying attention and it's 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 not it's not it it's just uh, it's wrong information you do have to pay attention. If I mean, if you want to do a good job, right? You have to pay attention and 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 not only pay attention, but try to do your best in every painting. And I know it's 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 uh, it varies, right? Your best varies. Your idea of your best, not your best, but your idea of your best varies. And other people's ideas of your best also vary. I got some people saying, "Oh my God, this is your best painting yet," and I got some people telling me. Oh man, you should have never painted that one. That was a bad one. And so who do I listen to? You know who I listen to all the time? I listen to the person that's paying me. That's the one I listen to. I'm like, oh, you're paying? Okay, it is my best. You're right. You know? I listen to the paying customer. I'm smart like that. And stuff. Just saying, guys. Just putting it out there. Listen to your paying customers. Don't listen to yourself or, or to other people. Listen to the paying customer. Paying customer is the one that, um, I mean, listen to yourself. I'm not saying don't listen to yourself, but, but what I'm saying is don't believe your own lies. Sometimes, sometimes we lie to ourselves. Don't believe your own lies. Listen to the marketplace. Listen to your, listen to your gallerist. Listen to your, to your, uh, to your customer. Pay attention to it. They're not always right. You're not always right. But somewhere in the middle, something's right. Somewhere in the middle. Look at that. Boom. It's the best day ever. Those variations in criticism is fantastic. Molto fantastic. 
no plastic molto fantastic they really they really are um because at the end of the day they really don't mean that much they don't mean they don't mean everything you know you might think they mean they 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 mean uh they mean that someone is saying something and then someone else is saying something else that's that's all it means Look at those clouds. Monet wish she painted like this. <laughs> Some people are gonna leave me because of this. They're gonna be like, oh my god, Jose, there you go again, talking shit about Monet. Yeah, dude, F Monet, he's dead. I don't care about Monet. It's death. And Van Gogh too. Van Gogh can go with Monet too. Tired, tired of looking up to those guys. I'm gonna look up to myself. Look at that. Boom. <laughs> Alicia, you love my end stuff days? And stiff. My end stuff days are like the most powerful days ever. Because they're full of je ne sais quoi. There you go. There you go. Now we're getting somewhere. Okay, let's get some of that gray. Let's get some of that gray power. Gray power! Here we go, gray power, activate. Boom. Gray power, activate again. Boom. Nimbus, or what would this be? This would be a stratus, no? A stratus cloud? I don't know. I remember reading about them a long time ago. Not it. This is a stratus, I think. I don't care what it is. It's a stinking cloud. And it's beautiful. And stiff. Look at that. God, man, I'm a painting god! <laughs> <laughs> I feel like I'm a painting god. Look at that. Look at that. Fall in love with your art. If the brush is not making love to the canvas, you haven't been painting yet. Fall in love with the artwork. Boom. Let's get some more of that gray, and let's put that gray. Oh la la, look at that. More gray, more gray, more gray. Let's get some red gray in there. Red gray, red gray. You don't even know what I've done here with that red gray. You know why? You know why you don't know? Because you haven't seen my classes, that's why. Boom! Subscribe to my classes now. <laughs> oh my god. Look at those clouds.
This is uh, molto fantastic. I don't even know what to do. This is. Uh, I feel all the I feel all the power. The power of Grayskull. I feel all the power of Grayskull. Let's get some of that purple in there. Purple, purple, yeah. More purple, purple, purple. Purple is the best color ever. So the art starts happening when you don't know what you're doing, but but you have enough enough knowledge that it does it by itself. I hope I could put those things in, in better words, but I can't. I don't I don't know how to put them in better words. That's where the art starts. So when people are like, oh my God, you're just messing around. Exactly. Exactly. That's the art. If you know exactly what you're doing, you're, you're painting, but you're not making art yet. Art is, art is stepping away from knowing what you're doing. into the unknown. The unknown is where the art is. It doesn't mean that you can't be, you know, like, no, you can be completely successful. Thomas Kincaid showed us that, that he calculated everything very well and he was very successful with his artwork. Good, good for him. But, but, uh, That's not where the art is. The art is when, when you step away from knowing. As Jim Morrison said, to the other side, baby, break on through to the other side. Look at that. It's your training and discipline. Boom. That's right. So there it is, my friends. Look at that. Boom. I want to do something here. I want to do something right here. Which is... There you go. Mmm. Mmm. That makes me. Yes. Mucho bueno. All right, my friends. Well, that's that. The name is Jose Trujillo. I happen to be the world's greatest living artist. The art world chose me. I didn't choose the art world. That sounds super cool. I always wanted to use that. All right. Stay well and sophisticated, my friends. Peace out. Remember, if you want this painting or any of the paintings that I've done, the link is in my profile. Do me a favor. Click that link. Click on those auctions. Place a bid on them. Just place a bid. Don't worry. You don't have to win them. Just place a bid. You're going to be doing tremendous help for this Mexican. <laughs> place a bid. Come on, do it. <laughs> All right, guys. Peace out.